So in the last video, we looked at angle sum and difference identities, and we learned four two angle sum and two angle difference. I'm not going to write them all out again. I'm only going to need one for this video. Uh, but this is a sort of specific example of a question that you might get when dealing with angle sums and angle differences. All right, so a bit tricky here, a few little moving parts. Find sine A minus B, angle difference, Given A plus B are acute, less than 90 degrees, in quadrant 1 of the unit circle, and cos A equals 3 on 5, and cos B equals 12 on 13. Now, I see an angle difference, so I probably need to know what the angle difference identity is. That is the difference identity, and you might be wondering to yourself, why is he written it down there? Well, because I'm going to have to do some work before I get there. Now, what do I know? I know that cos A is 3 on 5. So there's cos A, so that's 3 on 5. And I know that cos B is 12 on 13. Now, what I need is sine A, and I need sine B. Now, if you know cos of something, you can find sine of something because you have the Pythagorean identity. So we can say that uh, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. Now, we know that, uh, let's deal with cos A first. Now, we know that sine squared A plus, now, cos squared A, uh, now that's going to be 3 on 5, so 3 on 5 squared equals 1. So that means that 1 minus uh, 9 on 25, so 3 on 5 squared is 9 on 25, is uh, sine squared A. Uh, 1 minus 9 on 25, uh, that's 16 on 25. Now, sine squared A is equal to 16 on 25, which means that sine A is equal to the square root of 16 on 25, which is 4 on 5. And you might be saying to yourself, but hang on, you did the square root, so it must be plus or minus. But are acute. So it must be in quadrant 1, and sine is positive in quadrant 1, so only positive. Sine A is 4 on 5. And, of course, we can do the identical thing with cos B. So we can say that sine squared B equals 12 on 13, nope, plus 12 on 13 squared equals 1. So we can say that 1 minus 144 on 169 is equal to sine squared B. Uh, now that is a 25 on 169 is sine squared b, and I might just be a bit more clear with my working here. Therefore, sine b is equal to the square root plus or minus of 25 on 169, but q1, therefore, sine b equals positive 5 on 13. Sine b 5 on 13. Alright, we have a final answer because now we just need to like calculate that. 33 on 65. Now, what was that solution? What's that answer? It's sine of A minus B. Now, interestingly, we don't know what A and B are. It doesn't matter because I don't want to know what A and B are. I just want to know what sine of A minus B is. Um, now, obviously, this question could take a lot of different forms. That could be a plus, that could be a cosine. We've got four angle sum and difference identities. Um, there might be like some sort of like tan ratio thrown in that, that allows you to get to these things. Uh, but use your Pythagorean identities and then see the angle difference, angle sum or difference, and then get to work.